geography teachers. As you know, climate change is one of the most significant issues of our times and its impacts are becoming inseparable from our day-to-day -day lives. It is critical that our students are made aware of this issue and to understand this problem from different disciplinary perspectives. In this lecture, we show the link between climate change and earth processes and show you, geography teachers, how you can teach some topics in geography using a climate related example. This is over and above climate change that you might already have as a topic in your syllabus. In this lecture, we present educational resources that bring climate studies into the mainstream undergraduate geography curriculum. These educational resources will allow you to teach topics in geography using a climate related example and you do not have to deviate from your prescribed syllabus. This will lead to an increased climate awareness amongst your students. Again, I'd like to reiterate that you as a geography teacher can continue to teach topics in geography as per your syllabus, but the usage of these educational resources will lead to greater climate change awareness amongst your students. You can use these digital pedagogical tools in your undergraduate geography classroom and learn how to incorporate a multidisciplinary approach to teaching. How do you introduce relevant topics, in this case climate change, in your discipline specific teaching? How do you effectively use technology in your classroom? And how do you enhance your students' learning? You can integrate climate science in your teaching and use these educational resources to teach topics from your syllabus such as glaciers, glacial retreat and glacial melting, sea level rise, disasters and hazards such as floods, droughts, food security, issues such as environmental migration and climate refugees, climate change and agriculture, agroecosystems, food production and crop yields, water resources, water security, climate change in cities, urban heat islands and many more. Let us take a look at a few lesson plans that incorporate topics in your discipline with climate related topics. Again, you as a teacher, if you use lesson plans such as the ones we are providing here, will continue to teach topics in geography as per your discipline, but the usage of climate related examples will further enhance the understanding of climate change amongst your students. The lesson plans that we'll take a look at in this video lecture include one on the Himalayan glaciers, where you can teach about hazards and disasters by using sea level rise and flooding due to the melting of polar ice, teaching about glaciology and glaciers, and about something like a major river system, in this case that of the River Nile. A lesson plan titled Himalayan Glaciers and Climate Change. As an undergraduate geography teacher, you can use this set of computer-based tools to teach about landforms. This lesson plan focuses on one type of landform, your glacial landforms. It will look at glaciers, what are glacial lakes, and climate change induced glacier lake outburst floods. Use this lesson plan to teach your students about the formation and characteristics of glaciers, types of glaciers, effect of climate change on glaciers. Now, as you all know, global warming is causing glaciers to melt rapidly. This results in large volumes of water that accumulate in glacial lakes. Over time, these lakes will burst their banks and will result in something called glacier lake outburst floods or GLOFs for short. This can cause widespread damage downstream. Globally, there are many hotspots of GLOFs. This particular lesson plan included resources to show how the Himalayan country of Bhutan has been affected by climate change induced GLOFs and what are their methods of adaptation to avert such disasters. 
Thus, the use of this lesson plan will allow you to integrate the teaching of a climate science topic with a topic in geography. The topics in discipline covered in this lesson plan include glaciers, glacial landforms, glacial lakes, moraines, avalanches, glacier snouts, snowmelt, glacier lake outburst floods, ablation accumulation and moraines in glaciers. The approximate time required for this lesson plan is between 50 to 60 minutes. This lesson plan includes a basic introductory reading, just introducing your students to different types of landforms. Another reading that describes what glaciers are and explores aspects of glaciers. A very short video about 6 minutes in length that describes what are the dangers posed by glacial lakes in Bhutan and shows how this country is coping with the threat of GLOFs which are due to climate change. A short classroom or a lab activity to better engage with your students which contains a simulation tool to show the growth and shrinkage of glaciers with climate related variations in things such as snowfall and temperatures. Here is a step by step guide towards using this lesson plan in your geography classroom or laboratory. We have suggested these steps as a possible plan of action. You may customize the lesson plan according to your preferences and requirements. First, introduce the topic using the reading title Landforms by Southern Kings Consolidated School in Canada to define what landforms are, some different types and characteristics of landforms. There are links provided in this reading that you can use to introduce to your students different landforms such as valleys, plateaus, mountains, hills, lois, glaciers, etc. There is a game section at the top of the page that enables your students to test their knowledge about the basic physical features of planet Earth. You can further discuss the topic through a reading titled All About Glaciers by the National Snow and Ice Data Center to teach your students about different aspects of glaciers. In the text box that is provided in this reading, you can use tabs on your left side to navigate to different topics such as how glaciers are formed, what are the various components of a glacier, what are the different types of glaciers. You can discuss with your students how glaciers affect people and what are the dangers associated with them. Navigate to the section titled Glaciers and Climate Change and explain to your students how warming temperatures have resulted in rapid melting of glaciers. You can discuss how retreating glaciers have been documented using satellite imagery in various regions of the Himalayas, for example, the Gangotri Glacier. Explain to them how glacial lakes are formed due to melt water from the glaciers that get accumulated behind very fragile moranic belts at the, at the snout of a glacier. You can describe how increased snow melt from glaciers greatly raises the level of accumulated water in glacial lakes, add it adds pressure to these moranic banks and they break down and cause gloves. Use the text to discuss the devastation caused by recent cases of gloves in, in Peru, Uttarakhand as well as Bhutan. You can now extend this understanding using a short video micro lecture titled GEF Bhutan Silent Tsunami which is produced by the Global Environment Facility to explain to your students the threat of gloves for a country such as Bhutan, which is in the Himalayas. You can use this tool to discuss past occurrences of gloves and possible destruction of resources, infrastructure, livelihoods due to sudden gloves in the future. You can use this video to discuss the urgent need for preemptive action against the buildup of glacial lake meltwater levels and explain how Bhutan has enlisted the help of international organizations to adapt to this for the effects of climate change. There is a classroom or a lab activity that you can now use for your students. This is optional. 
but this simulation title glaciers is produced by PHET interactive simulations at the University of Colorado and this allows your students to explore how environmental conditions such as temperature and precipitation affect the thickness, velocity and glacial mass budget of glaciers. You can encourage your students to vary all of these conditions in the glacier using the instruments from built-in toolbox of this particular simulation. There are built-in graphs which will allow your students to visualize changes in glacial length over time, allow the changes of figuring out the equilibrium line altitude against time, the glacial budget against elevation and air temperature against elevation. You can discuss this now with your students how these models or simulators can be used to in real life scenarios and discuss the effect of climate change induced variations in global temperature and precipitation patterns on glaciation across the world. Questions or assignments? Some suggested question assignments for your students understanding. What are glaciers? How are they formed? Describe the components of a glacier. What are the different types of glaciers? How do glaciers affect the land on which they are formed? How are glaciers affected by climate change? Describe the threat posed by gloves in mountainous regions of glaciation. Learning outcomes. The tools in this lesson plan will enable your students to 1. Define what glaciers are and their components. Describe the different types of glaciers. Understand how glaciers are affected by climate change and discuss the dangers posed by glaciers and the disaster management strategies employed to mitigate them. If you or your students would like to explore the topic further, some of these additional resources might be useful for you. A lesson plan titled Teaching Glaciology, Glaciers and Glacial Retreat and the Cryosphere Climate Relationship. As an undergraduate geography teacher, you can use this set of computer based tools to help you in teaching about glaciers, the cryosphere and related topics such as the impact of temperature and precipitation on glacial mass, glacial budgets and glacial advance and retreat. This lesson plan helps your students to learn about glaciers and the factors that affect the movement and size of glaciers. The activities in this lesson plan will also enable students to understand the possible impacts of climate change on glaciers and the climate cryosphere link. Thus the use of this lesson plan will allow you to integrate the teaching of a climate science topic with a core topic in geography. If you are teaching glaciers or the cryosphere in your syllabus, we invite you to take a look at this particular lesson plan. This lesson plan includes a set of readings that introduces glaciers and their formation, an interactive visualization and associated activity to visualize the shrinking and growing of a glacier as a result of changes in snowfall and temperature a classroom or a lab activity that uses Google Earth imagery and analysis of historical data to predict when a glacier will completely melt. Here is a step-by-step -step guide towards the use of this lesson plan in your classroom lab. We have suggested these steps as a possible plan of action and you may customize this lesson plan according to your preferences and requirements. Introduce the topic through this online reading which is on glaciers and their formation. These have been provided or developed by the National Snow and Ice Data Center and the resources provided here explain to your students all about glaciers, their formation and components. Now conduct an activity using an interactive visualization tool to help your students to learn about the effects of changes in snowfall and temperature on glaciers. 
This tool is been developed by PHET uh, from the University of Colorado Boulder. It's titled Glaciers. There is an associated activity called Investigating Glaciers developed by John Judkins and has been provided in the link shown here. Conduct the activity that is described and discuss with your students how glaciers are affected by changes in temperature and snowfall. Stress to your students how temperature change caused by climate change can impact glaciers across the globe. Also discuss with your students how the study of glaciers can help in understanding about Earth's changing climate. Next, help your students to investigate the melting of glaciers through a classroom lab activity. This activity is titled, When Will There No Longer Be Glaciers in Glacier National Park? and is present at the SERC website, Science Education Resource Center of Carleton College. It has been developed by Carol Ormond from Wittenberg University. In this activity, your students will analyze and interpret historical data from one glacier in Glacier National Park called the Grinnell Glacier. Using old uh, imagery as well as satellite data, they will predict when the glacier might completely melt. The teaching material and activity files are presented in the link shown here. Questions and assignments. Use the tools and concepts learnt in this lesson plan to determine answers to the following questions for your students. What climatic and environmental factors affect the size and motion of glaciers? How has an increase in global temperatures led to the shrinking of some glaciers? What is the relationship between climate and the cryosphere? How do glaciers provide evidence of climate change? Learning outcomes. The tools in this lesson plan will enable your geography students to 1. Describe glaciers and their formation. 2. Discuss the factors affect the shrinking of and growing of a glacier. 3. Determine how climate change related temperature variations may impact glaciers. If you or your students would like to explore the topic further, these additional resources may be useful. A lesson plan titled teaching about hazards and disasters. As an undergraduate geography teacher, you can use this set of computer-based tools to help you in teaching topics such as hazards, disasters, which are both natural or man-made. This lesson plan allows students to understand how the melting of polar ice due to climate change can result in an increase in sea levels globally. The activity will also allow students to examine real data on sea level rise, determine the reasons for climate change related flooding and visualize the effects of such flooding on some vulnerable coastal regions. Thus the use of this lesson plan will allow you to integrate the teaching of a climate science topic with a topic in geography. So as a geography teacher, if you are teaching topics such as hazards, disasters, natural or man-made, sea level rise, floods, melting of polar ice due to climate change, we invite you to take a look at this particular lesson plan. This lesson plan contains a classroom or a lab activity that first introduces the relationship between climate and the cryosphere and explains how sea level rise can be predicted. It triggers a discussion on the potential impacts of sea level rise on communities. A short video about seven minutes in length that discusses the social and economic impacts of rising sea level. There are two classroom lab activities shown here, one specifically for the undergraduate level, where your students can examine and analyze sea level change data and shoreline response for the location in the coast of California. Here is a step-by-step -step guide towards the use of this lesson plan in your geography classroom or laboratory. We have suggested these steps as a possible plan of action 
you may customize this plan according to your preferences and requirements. First, introduce the relationship between climate and the cryosphere and the effect of increasing average global temperature on sea levels by conducting a classroom lab activity. This activity is titled Future of the Cryosphere Sea Level Rise and has been produced by Earth Labs at SERC Carlton College. All the teaching material, it is an entire module, is present at this link which is provided here. Using this particular activity, you can discuss what is the impact of rising sea levels for a specific location. Next, play a short video micro lecture titled Rising Sea Levels that has been produced by NBC Learns Changing Planet to discuss with your students how coastal communities are likely to be impacted by an increase in sea levels worldwide. Now, conduct a classroom or a lab activity to better enhance the learning of your particular students in your classroom. Explore this topic through a hands-on classroom lab activity which is titled Mapping Coastal Vulnerability to Sea Level Rise it uses a location of Point Reyes National Seashore. This has been developed by Len Vasher from the University of South Florida. In this activity, your students will examine actual data for sea level change and will perform data analysis and calculations in MS Excel to determine coastal vulnerability and shoreline responses to sea level rise. This material is available again at SERC at Carlton College. All the activities and the instructions for carrying out these activities are provided in this particular teaching module. Questions or assignments? Use the tools and the concepts learned so far and determine answers to the following questions. These are for your students. Name the largest glaciers in terms of volume in the world. What would be the impact of melting of large glaciers on coastal locations across the world? What are the factors that determine the vulnerability of a coastline to flooding caused by rising sea levels? What is the likely impact of a sea level rise of let's say 100 cm on a city such as San Francisco or Los Angeles? Learning Outcomes the tools in this lesson plan will enable your students to 1. Describe the relationship between climate and the cryosphere and the possible impact of an increase in average global temperatures on sea levels. Explain sea level rise and the reasons for this sea level rise. Discuss all the factors that might determine the vulnerability of coastal regions to inundation caused by rising sea levels. If you or your students would like to explore this topic further, these additional resources might be useful for you. A lesson plan titled Major River Systems, Climate Change and the River Nile. This lesson plan can be used to teach about one or more river systems around the world. It can feature what are their features, determine the significance for the region they flow through. As you all know, the Nile is one of the longest rivers of the world and it flows through 11 countries in Northeast Africa. This lesson plan includes resources to teach about its role in providing food and water security and in its influencing the economies of these countries that it flows through. This lesson plan discusses the Nile as an example of a major river system that is now being affected by climate change. Thus, the use of this lesson plan will allow you, geography teacher, to integrate the teaching of a climate science topic with a core topic in geography. The topics in discipline include river systems, fluvial processes, drainage basins, floodplains, river deltas, the hydrologic cycle, evapotranspiration and of course the river Nile. The approximate time required for this lesson plan for your students is 40 to 50 minutes. This lesson plan includes two readings that introduce the terms 
associated with river systems and various fluvial processes. A digital repository of information about major river systems of the world, including the River Nile. A video and associated reading that describes the effect of climate change on the River Nile. Here is a step-by-step -step guide towards the use of this lesson plan in your classroom or laboratory. We have suggested these steps as a possible plan of action and you may customize this lesson plan according to your preferences and requirements. Topic introduction and discussion to follow. There are two readings provided here. You can use the reading river systems developed by the Canadian Geographic Education to introduce to your students the basic terminology associated with the river system such as river source, tributaries, floodplains, meanders, upstreams, wetlands, watershed boundaries, etc. Next, use the reading title Fluvial Processes, which has been produced by the Central Connecticut State University to describe the processes associated with the flowing nature of the river. You can use this text to describe what the drainage basin of a river system is and what its characteristics are. Explain to your students the processes associated with river erosion and the transportation and deposition of eroded material. Describe the flow channel characteristics and briefly discuss strategies of river management. You can develop this topic further by exploring features of some major river systems of the world. You can use this repository titled Rivers and River Systems that is produced by the Encyclopedia Britannica to teach your students about some major river systems of the world. You can choose a river system of your choice and navigate to different sections in the contents to teach about topics such as physiography, climate and hydrology, plant and animal life, people, economy, and explorations. Encourage a discussion on what factors, for example, climatic factors, could affect the normal functioning of a river system and what their implications could be. You may choose to specifically explore various aspects of the River Nile for a better understanding of the effects of climate change on it. And this will be discussed more in the next teaching tool. Use a video titled Nile Faces Greater Variability produced by David Chandler from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology News Office or MIT. You can use this video to explain to your students what the impact of climate change is on the River Nile, which as we know is one of the major river systems of the world. This news piece actually reports on a study which is published first by Professor El Tehar and Professor Sam in Nature Climate Change. You can use this tool to explain how the Nile Basin now faces unpredictable drought or flood conditions due to a warming climate and the variability in precipitation and evaporation are influenced by the Pacific Ocean El Nino La Nina phenomenon. Further, you can use this report to discuss future projections of how such climatic factors could further increase the flow variation in the River Nile. Questions or assignments? Some questions that you could ask your students. What are river systems? Describe fluvial processes. What is the socio-economic importance of major river systems? What is the significance of the River Nile for the country Egypt? How is it affected by climate change? How are the major river systems of the world being affected by climate change? Learning outcomes. The tools in this lesson plan will enable your students to 1. Understand river systems and their associated processes. 2. Learn about various aspects of some major river systems of the world. 3. Explain how river systems may be affected by climatic factors. And 4. Discuss the impact of climate change on the River Nile. If you or your students would like to explore the topic further, some of these additional resources 
may be useful. See more lesson plans that integrate topics in geography with climate sciences at tropicsu.org and at the link shown here. Let us take a look at some standalone teaching tools that you as a teacher of undergraduate geography in India can use in your classroom. These teaching tools will not only enhance the understanding of the topic in geography for your students, but will also enable them to learn more about climate change. Some of these include a classroom or a lab activity on permafrost and climate change a classroom or a lab activity to learn about climatic conditions of a crop and to determine how climate change may affect food production, a classroom or a lab activity about glacial retreat, an interactive visualization that will allow your students to observe what the effects of a global temperature increase of 4 degrees C might be on human health, agriculture, forest systems, oceans, permafrost, water availability, and extreme climate events. An entire short e-learning course called Impact of Climate Change on Cities. A visualization to observe and understand the effects of sea level rise and different scenarios on specific locations the coast of California. A teaching module about climate refugees. A classroom or a lab activity linking climate change the cryosphere and rising sea levels, a visualization on glaciers and climate change, a visualization on human migration, a reading on hurricanes, what affects hurricane activity, and how do we build resilience to the impacts of disasters such as hurricane, an e-learning course on adaptation and mitigation in cities in Africa. Let us take a look at some of these tools in some amount of detail. The first one titled Classroom Lab Activity titled Climate Change and Food Security. This is a classroom lab activity to help your students learn about what are the suitable climatic conditions for a crop and to determine how climate change may affect food production. In this activity, your students will learn about the relationship between climate change and food production. They will use the case study of cocoa production in Africa. They can explore this topic in detail through the creation of maps using a free online tool titled ArcGIS Online Tool. Use this tool to help your students find answers to what are the effects of climate change on agriculture in general, what are the possible effects of climate change on cocoa production in Africa, what is the impact of this cocoa production on West African landscapes also. This particular tool has been is presented at Integrate at Science Education Resource Center of Carleton College and is provided at the link shown here. An interactive visualization titled Glaciers and Climate Change that allow your students to visualize the shrinking and growth of a glacier due to changes in snowfall and temperature caused potentially due to climate change. In this particular visualization, your students can change parameters such as temperature and snowfall and then they can observe what are the effects on a particular glacier. They can use this tool and you can discuss with them how climate change related factors may impact glaciers globally and how the studies of glaciers can actually help in understanding Earth's climate. You can use this tool to help your students find answers to questions such as what climatic and environmental factors affect the size and motion of glaciers and how do glaciers provide evidence of climate change. This particular tool has been developed by the PHET interactive simulations at the University of Colorado. A visualization and a classroom lab activity for your students to learn about regions and communities that are affected by migration environmental migration, climate change induced migration and learn about the term climate refugees. In this tool, your students will again learn about how do you make maps, how do you visualize to learn about issues such as 
what are some locations that are now becoming uninhabitable due to climate change. Con subsequently, communities who live here are being forced to leave their homes because of climate change. Your students can understand, then they can discuss with you what are climate change related problems such as inundation, flooding, erosion, drought desertification, conflict and how much resources are being strained due to climate change itself. You can use this tool to help your students find answers to questions such as what are some climate change related problems that threaten the very existence of some regions in the world such as islands which where sea level is rising. You can have them provide some examples of such regions, regions using the story map tool. What are challenges that are faced by some of the people who are being forced to leave their homes and are now called climate refugees. This is developed again by the ESRI story map team and is present at the link shown here. A short classroom lab activity to drive home the point that glaciers are indeed shrinking due to climate change and allow students to understand at what point might a glacier completely vanish or melt from the earth. <clears throat> this classroom lab activity will then allow you to teach about glacial retreat in this case. In this activity, your students can analyze and interpret historical data using one particular glacier, the Grinnell Glacier, to predict when it might completely melt. This tool has been developed and is present <clears throat> at SERC at Carlton College and is present at the link shown. So dear geography teachers, we hope you find these teaching tools and lesson plans useful that will not only enable your students to understand more about topics in geography, but also learn more about climate change. Thank you.